You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the number one station for independent artists. Hello. I'm here. I'm We're here. live. I'm Hello. Okay. I, I didn't know. You were looking at your phone. I'm like, am I by myself? Like uh, Byron K. Ward? I don't oh, know. Geez. Anyway, anyway. So that was great with Bobby. That was really fun with Bobby. Great. We just took some uh, great photography with him, and it's, it's awesome, man. Definitely um, are looking forward to. To having our next next ooh, nest nest next guest on a really soon. What we yes. got, Missy? What we got? Well, we got some trending topics. Go, let's go. You want to save it, or what do you want to do? Well, we already had a break. Let's let's go into it. Yeah, I, I'm let's ready. get into it. Tra- I have a couple. I have a few. Okay, I have a few. Uh, let's see. This one, I'm sure, Junior, you're gonna have a lot to say about. Okay. Okay. okay so listen, right. Dr. Dre got served divorce papers at his grandmother's funeral. That's what I'm saying. I I read that. That can't be real. That cannot be true. How is it not true? There's multiple, multiple media outlets saying. That is the, that is the dirtiest thing I've ever heard before. Totally. That is so disrespectful. I know. That I had to be, because you know I'm going to be there. You know I'm going to be there. Yeah. And I get served papers. Oh, that's so disrespectful. To me, I was like. Ooh, she did that on purpose. She hates him. What did he do she that re- she hates him that much? I she mean, already getting a bunch of money. She, either she's going to tell everybody and maybe not get any money, or she's going to keep quiet and get, like, half of his money. I don't know. Like, she's trying to play smart. Wow. And get digs in where he can, where she can. <laughs> like, wow. Like, give, settle the divorce papers at the grandma's funeral. That is nuts. That is that's crazy. That's a whole other level. You, that's... I don't even... I could never... You could never would serve anybody papers like that, right? No. I that is just disrespectful. What do you think that your level of pettiness is? It's not that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my level of pettiness would... I mean, I could be kind of petty, but I couldn't be it to the level of that I'm disrespecting somebody. I just can't get to that level. Yeah. And for him to receive that, you know, what kind of anger would he have? He, did, he wouldn't even... Um he would not even take the papers. He let them go on the ground. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. I, I'm kind of lost for words. I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. It's just so disrespectful. Man, can you just imagine? I don't know. I, maybe we got a... I got a text message that says, I am very petty. I, I find that disrespectful. I'm not petty at all. Well, maybe a little bit. I try not to. <laughs> Hey, I've seen I've seen a little bit of your pettiness live and in action. I, I, seen, don't, I, I seen, don't think so. We'll talk about it off air, but okay. I see, I see a, a little a little snip. Oh, if we're talking about if we're talking yes, about what I think yeah, we're talking yeah, we talking about, yeah, we talking about that. Then yes, yes. We're Th- about. So then that, but my level of pettiness is not even that crazy. That's like very subtle level, very like it's not in your face. I'm just like. I just don't got time for nobody. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that's my level of pettiness. I just don't got time for people. Oh my goodness! That's it. Oh so, man, that's crazy. So my um, level's like. Can you give an example of? Can people get an example of some of your pettiness or what you will do? Like an example of how you can be petty. Yeah, I've said this before. Like, okay. if I don't rock with you, like I'm just not gonna say hi. Like I don't care if we've met before. I just am not gonna say hi. We, we can have had several interactions and if like the vibe just isn't there like I'm not we, we don't have to, I'm not friends with everybody like you yes know? I mean uh, have you I mean acquaintances you know are but you I mean, getting along with females more than men I love girls yes. okay you love girls I okay love so In have fact, you the, have you ever had a girlfriend that had another friend that you just did not care for of course and you just kind of stuck like I can't stand this chick but because I, this is my friend, my A1, I, I got to be here. Yes, I did that for many years until one day I couldn't take it anymore. And I just said, well, I mean, I, I'm like, go ahead, you be her friend, but I'm just not going to be her friend. Like mm, 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 like mm. I said, I just don't <laughs> got time for people. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> but uh, I tried, but I tried for a very long time to, wow. to like, See the thing, I'm, I feel like you know, I I tried and I tried and I tried until I couldn't try anymore. So I mean, what you know? Mm mm mm. Well, and, ladies and gentlemen, it's okay to be petty sometimes. I guess it just depends on levels. I do not suggest doing what they did to Dr. Dre, but you know, ugh, man. Who who was the person that he went to the funeral for? His, you would gr- do it? his grandma. That was his grandma. 
I said that earlier. I'm sorry. I'm zoning out right now. I'm just. I, I we're couldn't we're get live past, on I air. Could, I know. I couldn't get past the 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 papers at the funeral part. I just couldn't get past that part. It was his grandmother's mm, funeral. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I'm granny. saying. That's what I'm saying. She really hates him. She that that's whatever. there's like a Maybe huge he, story behind. Okay, the so for that for that, that kind of hate, what do you think on her end? She feels that he did or that he did. I'm just saying, I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't think that infidelity gonna, issues. That's not worth serving him at the grandma's house at the grandma's funeral. Okay. Okay. How about this? What if it was infidelity? And a, and this is all assumptions here. And the person was somebody that she was very close with. Like a friend. A friend friend. Like my home girl. Now what about that? I Is that I think the level? I think that it would make her want to, but I don't know if that would still be the level. But if you want to, that means you could do it. Yeah, but I don't think that's the level yet though. I think okay. like you could hold back a little bit still. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. But I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Uh, yeah, I try. You know what the thing is? I'm I try very hard because I just don't want karma to hit me back, and I just think like you know I could just be better. It's all good, you know. It's fine. It is all good though. Yeah, I know that's that karma is real though. I've had it happen many times, so I you know I'm I'm trying to lead a nice, you lead a nice beautiful, beautiful Christian girl Christian life. life now. Christian life. <laughs> I don't have no time for these sins. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Seriously, I, I wake up. Thank you, Jesus, every single day. Cause it's it's crazy out here. Yeah, for it's real, it's for crazy real. out here. It's crazy out here. So let's wait. get into a couple songs. It looks yes, like we have our yeah, next we have guest. actually we have our guest that actually just walked in the building. So we're gonna get into a couple songs, and we already have a winner right now. I mean, ha- a hands down winner. Yeah, for sure. Good gracious, what wow. a what a winner. I lo- yeah, I loved it. What a winner. So we're going to get to a song by Latasha Lee, and we will be back real, real soon. See you guys.